Global Variables Now we can take a look at some of the variables that we have at our disposal that we can use in our contract and while a transaction is taking place. On the Solidity documentation we get a list of block and transaction properties that we get to use. Some of them start with block and some of them start with message, msg and tx. There are many properties for us to use and feel free to explore some of them by yourself. For now I'm going to cover some of the most useful and commonly used ones. I have an example of how we are going to use the block.timestamp, block.chainid, message.value and message.sender. Now let's go ahead and deploy this contract but before I do I'm going to send one ether with my deployment. So deploy and let's take a look at some of these values that we now have assigned. Let's start by the timestamp. So the timestamp gives us back in seconds when this transaction actually took place and in this case when our deployment took place. Next we have the chain ID. This just specifies what chain we are running on. These values are useful and can be used in functions to check the current timestamp. Maybe you want to do different logic based on what time it is. Now we get to the message.value. Message.value is part of the transaction and when we deploy the contract we send one ether. So we know that this is the way value of one ether and this is what you can get from the message.value. From message.sender it gives you the from address of who kicked off this transaction. So if I click on sender I can see the address that I use to deploy this contract, this one over here. So this is the basics of the global properties that we can use and these two are very useful because we can get someone's address when they call a function and also see what the value is that they send to the contract. We will touch more on this when we are sending some ether later on. For now just know there's many different properties to your disposal and you can use them in interesting ways to make very intuitive smart contracts.